Hi. I know some of our chain gangs love brain gym exercises. This is a rhythmic exercise taught to me by my lovely colleague Alan Bryden, which warms up our bodies and our brains and maybe our voices as well. Before we start, let's find a comfortable position. You probably want to sit towards the front of your chair so that you can have your feet planted nicely on the floor, a comfortable distance apart, and maintain an upright but relaxed posture. We're going to create a pattern from two different rhythms. The first part is a two beat rhythm we'll create with our feet. I'll start and do join in. After two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Quite straightforward. And I was stamping alternate feet there, but you could tap your feet rather than stamp. You could just use one foot or you could even tap both feet together, whatever's comfiest for you. The second part is a three beat rhythm, which we'll clap with our hands. It goes like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You may notice that this is not the typical type of three beat waltz rhythm that we would often hear in traditional Western music, where all the beats are the same duration. It's a rhythm of West African origin, the beats are not all the same duration and it's got quite a different feel to it. You may pick it up just by clapping along, but I often find it helpful when I'm learning a new rhythm to assign a word or a phrase that fits it to help me remember it. I usually use a food or a drink and I think banana works quite well with this. Banana, banana. So I'll clap it through again and see if you can join it. So we've now got our two rhythms, a two beat rhythm on our feet, one, two, one, two, and a three beat rhythm on our hands. Here comes the fun part, we're going to play them together. This is a tricky little multitask for the brain and there's a couple of different ways that we could approach it. Firstly, we could start with the two beat rhythm on the feet and then add the hand clap. Let's try that together. Start on the feet after two. One, two. Keep the feet going, let's add the hand clap. Different ways of learning things work for different people. So if you find that tricky, an alternative approach that we can use to bring the two rhythms together is instead of thinking of them as two separate parts that we're playing with our hands and our feet, which is kind of like rubbing your belly and patting your head, we can consider them as the complete new pattern that's formed when the hands and feet are working together. If we break it down slowly in that way, the first thing that happens is a hand clap and a stamp at the same time then a clap, stamp, clap, both, clap, stamp, clap, both, clap, stamp, clap, both, clap, stamp, clap. And if you like the idea of using a word or a phrase to remember the rhythm, Coca-Cola works well thinking of it this way. Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. Let's try it together. After two, one, two. Let's try putting the whole pattern together now and use whatever approach works best for your brain to coordinate your hands and your feet. Whether that is starting with the feet and then adding the hand clap 
or whether it's thinking about the complete new pattern that's formed by the hands and the feet working together. I'll give a count in of two. One, two. After that, we can add one final level of difficulty, which is to sing over the top of the rhythm pattern. I'm going to use When the Saints Go Marching In here because hopefully we are all familiar with it so you don't have to think too much about the singing. This is how it would work. Oh, when the saints go difficult, not gonna lie, it took me quite a lot of practice to be able to do that because I'm not the most coordinated. <laughs> so let's bring it all together now. You can choose which parts you'd like to focus on. You might like to keep the rhythm going on the hands and the feet and just listen to the singing or sing along with the hand clap or sing along with the foot stamp. And of course if you're rocking this and you've had your Weetabix this morning please do feel free to do all the parts at the same time. I'll give a two beat count in, we'll go round the rhythmic pattern three times and then the singing will come in and we'll go through when the saints twice before we finish. Let's do it! One, two. And sing oh, when the saints go expand that exercise to get the most out of it. You might like to try standing up instead of sitting down or even march around the room as you're doing it which can be a good way of keeping the rhythm going in the feet. You also might like to try singing a different song over the top of the rhythmic pattern which can be interesting as well. I hope that is a good warm-up for body and mind and voice that you can practice at home and have some fun with. <laughs>